um, a girlie's got homework, a girlie's sick. This video is all about y'all just being along for the ride. So I am filming myself once again, doing another sewing project, beginning the process of making my collection for the fashion show this year. We hope to have at least five pieces in the show this year. My collection is going to be space age futurism slash space age sci-fi, 60s sci-fi. Here are some inspo pics that I found on Pinterest that really helped me create the vibe and aesthetic of my collection this year. Here's what we're making. It's not an authentic 50s pattern, which I'm kind of sad about. It's like 2013 pattern, but whatever. Um, but it really had, this is gonna be like my the dress, statement dress piece in my collection. And I thought this had a perfect like kind of 50s tiered style that I want. Um, I might change it up a bit, hopefully if I have enough fabric and make some ruffles along here. This is my fabric that I got. This is gonna be the base fabric, like underneath the dress. It's so silky and soft and it's a knit, so it has a lot of stretch to it. This is gonna be the overlay. Mm, yes, look at it. It's like netted. It almost looks like spider webby. I know, I know. Here's them together. Like that, so. Now it's time to place the pattern pieces on the fabric and cut them out. For my birthday this year, my mom graciously gifted me with a serger, which is right here and it is so beautiful. And I'm really excited because it will help me a lot on these projects to make them look very clean and simple and here is a pattern that i'm using for my 60s mod style dress i will be using a pink and white fabric with the little hexagons on it and i already cut the pieces out and i'm ready to serge the pink ones but the white i still need to cut out and it looks like i have a glass of ice water and a wine glass because why not good evening Today, I will be working on several projects, okay? Instead of ice water, I have milk in my glass. It's not eggnog, it's milk. Straight up milk. It's really good, okay? I think the media paints a terrible picture of milk. Everyone hates milk. Well, it's delicious. Great late night snack. I'm sorry. So the third project that I'm working on while my other, stu other two are still unfinished is um, a modified version of this. I wasn't a fan of how broad the shoulders were because my other pink and white one is gonna be kind of like that. So I wanted to have it come in on the shoulders more and I might even like gather it close around the neck. Where did I get? I can't remember where I got this paper. Oh yeah, it's parchment paper. But I just traced the pattern. Wait, no, this is the pattern. What am I doing? Oh. Oh, okay. I know what's happening now. So I'm modified. This is the this is part of the actual pattern. It's just folded down right there. But I traced over with parchment paper to create a different top. I think my plan is 
since I have my serger around there. I'm going to surge everything that needs to be surged for like all my projects um, collectively. And then I'm going to sew everything, just run right through it. Here I am at the sewing lab on campus working on the bodice to my blue sparkly dress. Um, there's a lot of itty bitty pieces that I already cut out and sewed most of them together and now I am ironing them and pressing them with a special little cloth so I don't absolutely burn the fabric because that these irons are monsters and burn my fabric all the time. It is spring break, so I am back home and still sewing up a storm. Right now, I am working on putting the collar onto my pink dress. Alrighty, now I got my blue puffy dress. It looks like I am putting the first tier of the skirt onto the waist and there you can see all the other layers I have cut out and sewn together. I just need to gather them and put them all onto the skirt. Listen, I get it. I'm a bad vlogger. All I do is video different clips of me sewing things, but you never end up knowing exactly how a piece of cloth turned into a dress where I skipped 50 different other steps in between that. But you know what? This video is all about y'all just being along for the ride. Sorry if you wanted a tutorial, I'm sorry. This ain't the place. I'm sorry. Alas, um, a girlie's got homework, a girlie's sick, and a girlie has less than two weeks, or no, maybe not. A girlie has two weeks to get four looks completed for the fashion show. So, yeah, it'll come together. It always does. Everything's like half finished right now. Let me show you one lady. Let me show you one lady that I also didn't video me doing. I don't know why, I just didn't feel like it. So she's kind of, sorry you didn't get to see her being put together. But, I mean, she's not done yet, but um, this is her. I realize this is a bad angle. We're gonna have to change the angle. My eyeballs. This is my date to the Met Gala next week. Okay, is this just me? Or do y'all have like, like a bald patch in your bangs? If you ever get bangs. It's like, this side will be fine, flowy. And then there'll always be a weird little bald patch right there that exposes my forehead. She's giving Greek romantic. This is the side, this is the front. She's pinned together at the moment. So I'm kind of scared when I start like actually sewing her that it might not look as good as she does now. So this is video record of her looking at her finest. Possibly. You know what, while I'm at it, um, instead of doing my homework like I should right now, I'm just gonna show you the rest of the projects that are half done, slash done. This one is actually done. Ew, 
la la. I realize I have a theme going on of pink and white in my life. Pink and white. Pink and white, baby blue. There's more baby blue that you'll see in a sec. But she's done. Oh. Little 60s mod. And she also has a little cap. I don't know where it went. Oh yeah. So she has a little cap. And I know you may be questioning it right now, but trust me. Trust me. Let's see what this looks like. I don't, I have, I have, I have my hair on. I have, I have buns right now, so I can't. This is what it looks like right now. Anyways, sorry about that. Not really, I'm not actually sorry. So next we have the bodice, which if you can't tell, same fabric. I have the bodice of my second dress, which I mean, I'm kind of questioning it. I mean, well, I don't know. It looks kind of good in the camera. It looks very scandalous. No, I mean, it, <laughs> sick. Um, like it looks pointy -er, and I don't know. Anyways, but she she's having um a mesh over with ruffle, which you'll see in a sec. Her skirt is done, I think. I might add another layer on top. I don't know, kind of decided. Shimmy shimmy, but this little shimmery stuff is what is going on over that one. Shimmy shimmy, shimmy shimmy. I wonder what it will look like on a body. I don't know yet. I kind of want more layers. I want everything fluffy. So we have this and this, and she's going to have a ruffle. She has this fabric over top, and she's going to have a ruffle. Also, whenever whenever I bought the fabric, I, I originally bought the fabric for this dress, but then I realized how much I bought to make a whole other dress. This is this goes to the floor, in case you cannot tell. Usually I buy like the bare minimum, but I think, I think it was destiny for me to buy more this time. It is currently 3.40 and I am wide awake, kind of. See the makeup? I've seen worse, but <sighs> anyways, um, I finished all the homework I need to finish. Um, I've had a lot. I had a fashion history test to take notes and study for. So I have even started sewing tonight that I was planning on sewing. I mean this morning. <laughs> um, but I am starving, so I'm going to get a snack before I start sewing at 4 a.m. So everyone is asleep right now, so I'm gonna be quiet. But last night I made pancakes with blueberry syrup sauce. I don't know, anyways. But look at my pancakes. Uh, I made a really big one. Look how big it is. It's as big as my face. So uh, I'm basically going to have breakfast at 4 a.m. Thankfully, I have no classes tomorrow morning or anywhere to go in the morning, so I'll be fine. I did a bunch of baking last night because I was trying to use up milk that was expired, a whole gallon that was barely drank out of. I buy a gallon of milk and then it doesn't get used up and yeah. So, this is our milk. Um, I didn't think no milk could do that. Ew. I don't know why we, or I don't know why I haven't taken it out yet. 
I don't know, I'm afraid it'll release gases on us and explode our house. So. I gotta say this midnight snack was a 10 out of 10 and did sustain me for the rest of my sewing endeavors that night. Okay, now I just have to sew a few more seams on my bodice, my mesh part of my bodice. And then after that, I'm going to be putting the mesh part and the blue corseted part together, which I'm kind of struggling with right there. Is that a no? No. You're such a rat. Yeah. You're on a. <laughs> You're literally on a bed right now. Hello, um, so here is the progress so far, um, which first of all, I think it's funny. I never videotape during the day because usually I'm a gremlin and so at night. So enjoy the lighting, even though it's a cloudy day. Um, but here, let me just show you what we got going on here. So um, Miss Sparkly Poof Lady here, um, I still need to sew that, but that is all good, all pinned. Right now I'm working on the green dress, which most of it I sewed together last night um, until 3 a.m. Um, I got the, what's it called? Um, uh, whatever these things are called, um, getting them put in. I put the top, the neck, the neck one in. And I'm actually really proud about how the zipper turned out right here. It's very clean. I've never really done that like that before, so that's nice. I still need to work on my space cowgirl, but these are the fabrics I'm using for that. A little purple blue moment. She's still there. I need to serge her and make the little underdress. This boa, hopefully, maybe, is going to... Ooh, go around the bottom of the green dress. We shall see. So I was actually able to make my Space Cowgirl outfit as two of my projects for my flat pattern class, which was really great. And then here I have all of my pieces uh, cut and laid out for the skirt and then for the top as well. It is, uh, so it is currently uh, 12.04 and i'm freaking out because my space cowgirl is like very close to being done let me show you this is her she's pinned up right now um anyways uh i still need to put on the fringe which will go there and there 
in there. And if I have enough, then on the bottom of the skirt. But, oh, okay, so she needs a, she needs a belt. Well, she needs a waistband with belt loops, a collar and buttons. But as of now, she is wearable. Oh, and a zipper. But you know what? She She's fittable. Tomorrow is the fittings for the models. So you know what? She's She's doing pretty good. Yay. This happens all the time. I love you so. I'm just doing some um, finishing touches on, well, kind of finishing on ooh, <laughs> this dress. I'm putting the ruffle on and I still need to put the zipper on, but middle fall model fittings are today. So, ouch, getting ready for that. This pattern I am using as the undershirt for the long flowy space queen dress. This is the fabric I'm using, same as the little pink go-go dress. And here I am cutting all the pieces out. I must say, this part of the project was an absolute rush. Uh, model fitting, like I had said before, was that day and just a few hours from when I was starting to make the underdress for the long, flowy blue dress, but I had to get it done so that I could fit it onto my model that day. I am widening the neckline of the shirt just to give it a bit more of an edge and here I am measuring it and double measuring so I don't have to cut more than I need. update um so for my quote-unquote space queen dress i pretty much redesigned the whole thing but it looks a lot better now so let me show you so here she is in all her glory um what i did is i had to completely redo the undershirt because it was way too big um and way too loose so i just put in a few more darts and fitted it and also I took in 
the sleeves a ton and to really make sure it fits and also to add a like a bit of an edge to it i'll probably have to trim those i made the sleeves almost like a renaissance e cut with the little ties um to so when i first First, I sewed this onto the shirt, but there was so much fabric and it was tugging and pulling on the shirt and it was just not working. It was just not working. So I was trying to find a way to stabilize it, but also have it fit together with it maybe not like being on the shirt. And so I originally was going to make these ties here be little things like material like this. And so I made a ton of them right there However, they were way too thick and just didn't tie right. So I decided, hmm, I'll use these and make it like a stabilizer. So it's really like this necklace thing that has this fabric on it and it holds it in place so much better and I think is gonna be so much easier for the model to wear so it doesn't feel like it's tugging on them. You just kind of put it over your head. Um, but I'm super excited, super excited for this look. I thought it was gonna be a failure, honestly, for a little bit but there she is. So um, I would just like to document that it is uh, nearly five o'clock in the morning, day of fashion show. Let me show you the list of things that I had to get done. Most, I have a few more things to do still, huh? but we'll see. Let me show you the list. So. For my party dress, more fluff, question mark, button plus belt. Space queen, I had to connect, I had to reconstruct the whole thing. Um, and jewelry, question mark, I don't know what that is. My green dress, I still have to hem that and make the scarf for it. My go-go dress, I hemmed it. Um, a cowgirl. Buttons plus tassel plus new sleeve question mark. I did all that, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so all I have to do is put up the button on the back of the party dress. Oh wait, I gotta put snaps on the cowgirl. Snap, snaps on the waist of the cowgirl. Green dress hem plus scarf, which I will just sew that baby up real fast. And then, uh, yeah, it's been wild this week. I've gotten no sleep all because of this. And I'm like, I feel like it did, It didn't seem like it would have been taking me this long, but it has. And you know, maybe it's a personal problem, but uh, anyways, we'll, we'll see how this day goes. Um, I'll let y'all know, love ya. I was able to get everything done and the fashion show was an absolute blast. And a week or so afterwards, I got all my models again and we had a photo shoot and it was really fun and they did an amazing job. So here are just some more photos from that shoot.